Bye-bye. Allô. What is so special about Sheffield? Mm. Yeah, well, that's a very pertinent question because here we are in this cinema and in a short while there will be a screening of the film Pulp, a film about life, death and supermarkets. And although the film's called Pulp, um, the main character, I think, in the film is Sheffield, the city the city that I was born in and the city that Pulp formed as a group and most of the songs that people know of Pulp were written in that city and often are about people in that city. So um, if you want to know what makes Sheffield different to other cities in the UK, I would say there's a, there's a very kind of dry humour. People don't talk a great deal. Um, People aren't so open, it takes a long time to get to know people there. But the people are generally, um, yeah, they're funny. They're funny in a, in a kind of very, sometimes quite a dark way and, and quite an ironic way. And that's a sense of humour that I appreciate a lot. And I like it when I go back and uh, hang out with people there. Well, those sheets. I watched him trying to flake off bits of nails and varnish. <laughs> Dandy or crooner? Yeah. Well, I don't see why that has to be a choice. I mean, I think that you can be a dandy and a crooner. Um, and, and a lot of singers that I like, they've also got quite a good style about them. Um, you know, if we talk about French singers, Serge Gainsbourg always had quite a good look going on. Uh, if we talk about English singers, someone like Scott Walker kind of presented himself as well. I think, you know, the way you present yourself on stage or even just in real life, it's all part of that thing of you're putting a message across or your view of what the world is. So clothes are very important for that, I think. So I think there's no such thing. If you're, if you're really serious about being a singer or trying to be an artist, there's no such thing as wearing plain clothes. You know, there's no, there's no like dress down days. You have to do it every day. You know, you don't go out in a tracksuit one day. That's, that's not allowed. You have to live the thing 24 seven. Well, you're allowed to take the suit off when you go to bed. But apart from that, 24 seven. Um, What remains from pulp? Yeah, um, well, that's an interesting thing. What remains from pulp? Uh, yeah, well, that's a funny one, really, because because pulp for me was uh, you know it was a group that I formed at school when I was like fourteen or fifteen. So I, w I was a kid, you know, and it was really something that was. At that stage, it was like wanting to be in a gang or something like that. And, um, and for a long time, it was my kind of thing to hold on to in a sometimes quite chaotic existence and sometimes quite a, uh, yeah, slightly dangerous existence. Uh, I always thought, well, the, put, the, the group is a central thing. And so if, as long as I can keep that going, the other things, it don't matter. Maybe that's what remains from Pulp an attitude, a, a way of looking at the world, which if I had to define it succinctly, which as you've probably gathered, I'm not very good at, uh, I would say it's about, it's about people, you know, um, the film is about the people of Sheffield and I'm fascinated by people and I'm fascinated by how they live their lives. You wanna live like common people Wanna see whatever common people see. Wanna sleep with common people. Maybe because I don't know how to live mine. So I just wonder what people do with their lives and do with their time. And um, so just real life things are very fascinating to me.
and I, I would be pleased if that remained of pulp, the fact that it was pop music, but it took ordinary life as its subject matter and kind of tried to elevate it into an epic thing, because that was always what we were trying to do, I guess. And I think that's a nice thing to do. Do you miss being on stage? Yeah, I've, yeah, I do miss being on stage. Uh, as I say a bit in the film, you know, being on stage for me is a place where I can lose my inhibitions, where I can like live in the moment, stop thinking, just do things. Um, so yeah, the nearest I get to being on stage is is dancing. I was at a wedding last weekend and I enjoyed dancing for a while but I don't go out to discos as much as I used to so yeah I miss being on stage I like that and I like being able to talk to people from a safe distance like uh, you know it's less dangerous talking to, if you're talking to somebody in a bar you like talking to someone there but on the stage you know it's 20 feet there's security guards there's a there's a barrier so that's my kind of I like a conversation to to be taking place like that I'd give my whole life to see it And just you stood there Only in your underwear Briefs or boxer shorts? Very easy to answer that one. Briefs every time. I, I can't even understand why boxer shorts were invented. As a man, I think when you're walking around, um, you want support. You don't want your male parts just flapping around, hanging free. I find boxer shorts um, an abomination. Anyway, yeah, 100% brief. Well, that was all right for a while. But soon I 